So hi dear Taurus, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general love reading for all the Taurus Sun Moon Venus rising from today till the 10th of December. This is for those who are in complete no contact with each other and the roles can be reversed also. The action can be from your side also. Please keep that in mind. And if it's not resonating, it's not your story honey and it's valid for every 12 sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign. So let's start. I'm soon launching my own uh, like uh, academy for courses and healing modalities. So if you are interested in becoming a tarot card reader, you can buy my course and you can start your own journey, uh, journey as well. Very, very soon I'm launching that. So let's start with your reading. The person that you are in no contact with right now at this present moment, Taurus, let's see what are the feelings for you. We have the Ace of Swords, the Two of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. This person is no more confused. There is someone around you who is not talking to you. They are no more confused about having a like long term partnership, commitment or long term kind of connection with you, even if it is just a friendship. It's not like Ten of Pentacles, like yes, collaboration, partnership where everything is leading to something beautiful, something very meaningful, right? So this person is very much sure that they, uh, ha they feel like having a very uh, mature and grounded and very meaningful kind of connection with you. They are getting the clarity. With each passing day, this person's eyes are opening towards reality and uh, they are getting the clarity that they feel like having a very stable, mature and grounded kind of connection with you. For some of you, this could be possible that this person feels like having a business collaboration or partnership with you and they feel like growing with you okay even if you guys are not going to be romantically with each other this person definitely feels like having some kind of collaboration partnership kind of energy with you uh, even if it means that you are going to be friends or like forever so this person is definitely someone who feels like healing the situation between you and them because there is some kind of unfinished unhealed kind of energies are there and they definitely feel like at least healing the situation so that you guys can be at peace hmm. okay Let's see what this person wants from you. I'm going to keep these readings very uh, small and crisp, uh, crisp uh, so that not to overwhelm you or myself with energies. Let's see what do you like. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions here for the situation between you and them? We have the world, the temperance, and the king of cups. <laughs> yeah. This person wants you back, Taurus. I don't know who this person is. This person definitely wants you back. Their intention is to wait around for the time when this painful cycle is going to be completed between you and them. Okay? Whatever is going on energetically, they want to put an end to this cycle and wants to start a fresh cycle with the like in the coming future. They definitely want to come towards you with a very mature, grounded and emotionally mature kind of emotionally stable kind of energy. See, the bottom of the deck is a queen of cups. This person definitely wants you back in their life. They are waiting for some kind of ending of a cycle very, very patiently. And it's a cycle, it's a phase that's going on between you guys only. I think if there is somebody else in their life, uh, then might be they're going through a separation or breakup from that person as well. And they're waiting for that cycle to be completely over so that they can connect with you and collaborate with you. This person definitely wants you back in their life, no matter in which like way, shape or form, but they do want uh, you back in their life emotionally as well. And on an energetical level, you can um, say like uh, consciously as well. <laughs> we, we often say that co emotions are not conscious. Emotions are just natural, like without logic. So consciously as well, right. Let's see what action is this person going to take towards you. If any, by the 10th of December, Taurus. We have the devil, the tower and the nine of pentacles. This person is breaking free some, from some kind of addiction, from some kind of third parties, from some, from some kind of issues, some kind of... Wow! This person is breaking free and becoming single for you? What? Wow, Taurus, it's something amazing coming up. Coming up. To be honest, I don't see this person coming towards you and having communication or something like that. But they're definitely going to give you the hints that they're becoming single or they are single or they are available or they are doing really good in their life this person is going to trigger some kind of energies in you so that you are going to communicate with them or you are going to take some kind of action towards them and to be honest i do see this person is breaking free some from some kind of toxicity negativity obsessiveness or possessiveness or a third party situation if there was any and they are becoming single to be with you right now this this person's energies are very much directed towards you like this person wants to be single to be with you Okay, I don't know what they are going to do in the future. Uh, like uh, on a physical level, I don't see them taking any kind of action, but they are going to trigger some kind of energies. They will make sure that you know that they are single and available. 
I don't know how, but this is what is what the outcome is telling me. Yep, they are going to hold back this urge of doing something or saying something to you, but they are going to uh, like show you that they are single. I don't know how, but you will get to know that they are single or they are available or whatever. Hmm. Let's see the guidance for you guys, Taurus, here in the situation. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Strength card. Take it slow, honey. Take it slow. Take it slow. Don't like, like just calm down your horses. Even if you're dealing with a new person or a past person or a new energy, or even if you're single, you might be getting this urge to do something about love and relationship that might not be healthy right now. So taking it slow, trying to find your own balance, trying to find the balance with the other energy is very, very important. Remain courageous, remain in your power and don't lose your courage don't lose your power don't lose your own individuality in like because of love and relationship area and don't rush towards anything or anyone just like that take your time being a taurus you are going to take your time anyway but might be you are getting impatient because you might be lonely or sad or depressed or uh, like single from a very long time so it's time for you to reflect uh, the, on the on the things that you learned till now lessons the wisdom and take it slow but do not lose your own individuality because of something else or someone else no matter what okay so thank you so much for tuning in taurus i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste